Joining me is head football coach Norm Ash. Talking with coach Kim Nelson Brown. Talking with Tommy Gilbert from uh, the swim team. And joining us is coach Oz of women's soccer. Welcome back to the Coaches Show. As we talked about, we have Coach Huff here with us now in studio. And uh, is it okay if I call you Coach Huff? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, Huffaker, is that how you say your last name? Correct, yeah. So uh, Coach Huff, as the, the uh, athletes call you and that, and I'm guessing a lot of your friends also. Um, first of all, thanks for being with us on the Coaches Show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, you have been here at Illinois Wesleyan for 18 years. Uh, a lot of fun things, I'm sure, have happened, a lot of great accomplishments. Um, you have one this year. You have a young lady that we just talked to that is going to be in the NCAA cross-country meet uh, this weekend. Let's, let's, start, let's talk about her first. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about Annalise. Uh, yeah, what an outstanding young lady. Um, you know, she's her journey, her improvement over the last year has been really remarkable. Uh, as a freshman last year, she finished 38th in the conference, finished runner-up in the conference this year, and then went from being, I think, like 73rd in the region last year to 20th this year. And um, she improved a lot from cross-country to track as a freshman. Her iron had been low, and we got that kind of sorted out, and we saw an immediate improvement. But she just really made that decision that she wanted to be outstanding, and she backs it up every day with her work ethic and, and the attention to detail, getting good sleep, stretching, rolling, working hard in the weight room. Uh, and she's a great teammate great attitude. So uh, I could not be more proud of her and the work that she's put in and just feel fortunate to be part of the journey, right? Like ultimately at the end of the day, they have to go out and execute. They have to be willing to, you know, hurt and suffer in the middle of the race. And she's just so coachable and, and so fun to be around. So it's been fun. Well, there's no doubt cross country is a is a physical sport. I mean, it takes physical endurance. It takes strength. It takes that. But it's also a mental uh, a sport. I mean, it, it takes a lot of mentality to be good at it. What are some of the mental characteristics you look for in your recruits? Uh, you want some people that are passionate about it, right? That like when you start talking about running, their, li their eyes light up and they just enjoy what they do because there is a, there's a part of our sport that can be tough, right? Like, uh, you know, other sports, you can do some other things that really help you get better. You know, as a basketball player, you can shoot free throws, you can shoot jump shots. That can, that's kind of fun. That's kind of, you know, you work on your defense separately. Running, we're running to get better at running. <laughs> and then there's different ways that we, you know, break it up and, and change it and keep it fresh. But uh, some of it is just getting out of bed and getting the footsteps in every single day to help you be better. And so you got to be willing to, to daily deal with some discomfort to, to get really good. And so uh, she has that ability to, to push her body, to push her mind. Um, but we want people that enjoy it, that love it. And then people that are tough, you know, that are resilient, um, cause there's some days are going to be better than others and not every race is going to be a PR. Not every race is going to be your best race. So you need some resiliency and, and some, some passion for what you're doing. Those are the two biggest things I think that we look for. Well, I know, uh, I had a brief experience running cross country back in high school. And I know for me, the tough part was the, the, not the distance that I couldn't run that far, but mentally staying focused. You know, you, you're out there for 10, 15 minutes and the mind starts to wander and you start to do. What are some things you do to help them focus or to break up the monotony for practices so so it's not boring, it, it, it engages their mind and keeps them going? So we, we talk about trying to be intentional with your mindset, right? And that one of the skills that you need to get better is your attention to detail, your attention during a hard effort. Uh, there's days when you're going on an easy run that the best thing you can do is just slip it into neutral mentally and just talk with your teammates and enjoy the time together and not worry so much about uh, everything that's going on. But in hard workouts, in our races, we want to be intentional about what things can we can control, right? We can't control weather conditions. We can't control how other people are going to run. We can't control someone bumping you or cutting you off. We control our response to those things. We can control 
uh, breaking the race into smaller segments that you can stay focused on? What do we do need to do in the first third, the middle, you know, the middle third and the last third to be successful? And so we talk about those things and we try to be intentional about talking about them consistently. Um, and Annalise is super coachable and, and does a really great job of focusing during a race and focusing during practice and then carrying those things from practice into competition. Well, you mentioned that uh, some of the practices you just got shifted into neutral mentally and talk with your teammates. I know uh, where I went to school in college, they, they called those fun run days, <laughs> and they always had themes. They would do all kinds of crazy things. Any Anything you guys do to help lighten things up and, and break the monotony like that? Occasionally they do some things like that. Um, it, you know, sometimes I, I leave that up to the team and the character and individuality of the team. They We've had years where they've done themed Thursdays and, you know, uh, they might dress as twins or they might uh, monochrome uh, dress in the same color or whatever it is. Uh, this year, that wasn't something that they chose to do as much, but um, they'll pick where they run. Um, we talk about, you know, being careful how, how fast or how far you're running on those recovery days to make sure you recover. Uh, but this this year's team, you know, they, they did, they were young, but really consistent, really good about being prepared and ready and focused during practice times. And so that wasn't something that they chose to do this year. Well, one of the things about cross country is it's, I don't want to say it's a short season, but there aren't a lot of meets. So um, gearing up, every meet's a big meet because you only have, I believe, seven meets throughout the yeah. season. What, what are ways that you get the most out of them on race days? So we talk about trying to approach every meet in a similar fashion mentally, right? Like, hey, this is uh, a chance to dress rehearsal for the conference championship, the regional championship. And so uh, trying to find that right headspace for each athlete, right? Like some need to be really kind of hyped up and they want to be really excited and really um, kind of, you know, hyped. Some need it to be really low key, like, hey, this is all okay. No matter how you run, we're still going to, you know, be here to support you. Most people need to be somewhere in the middle, right? Like they want to be a little nervous so they know that they're ready and excited. And so we try to talk about that also, like, hey, know yourself, know where you need to be, know the things that you need to do to be in the right headspace to, to get the most out of yourself. And so uh, we talk a little bit about self-talk and mental rehearsal and visualization, and, and we try to talk about those leading into, you know, those competitions so that we get a formula down and, you know, we have it rehearsed and ready so that when we get to the big meets, we're not trying something new. We're not doing something different for the first time. We're approaching it the same way that, that we approach those other six competitions all, all season. Now, uh, season's wrapping up. You have Annalise running on Saturday in the uh, NCAA there. High school also wrapped up or, or real close to wrapping up. As the, So it's going to be the off season. start getting ready. You help out with the track team, mostly distance runners, I'm assuming, in that. But it's also recruiting. You know, what are you looking for in those student athletes? We talked a little bit about it. But uh, for those who are seniors, just finished their high school seasons, they start getting ready to get ready for college. What are some things you would tell them, some advice you would give them as they get ready to make those selections if they have not made it to, to go to college and run? Yeah, so we're looking for character first, right? Like we've worked pretty hard to build a culture and atmosphere where people look forward to coming to practice, where they're going to push their teammates but support them at the same time. And so, um, you know, I, I would encourage young people to talk with coaches, talk with members of the team, make sure that all seems like a good fit, right? Like because if um, – I think training is different usually from high school to college, from program to program, but you want to feel like you're in the right fit philosophically because you want to enjoy coming to practice. You want to uh, share the same vision with the coach, with the people on your team. And, you know, it's not more important than the educational opportunities that the college you select, but it'll play a huge part in shaping your experience at the college. And so you want to make sure that's a good fit. Um, whether you're at Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, or NAI, most people aren't going to make a living out of running, right? So you want to make sure the educational opportunities are there to help advance you in, in whatever it is your aim to do after college. And so I think if you can find the right fit philosophically, the right fit educationally, 
um, you're, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Most distance runners are pretty driven. They're pretty disciplined. And so they're going to find the opportunities and work hard to make the most of the situation. But if you get those educational philosophical pieces correct, I think they're going to set themselves up for a good experience. Well, this weekend, Annalise is going to run about 6K yep. on Saturday. How far during that race are you going to run trying to get to different <laughs> spots on the course to, to encourage her and coach her? Well, I've put on a few pounds since my own running days, but uh, usually for that sort, short space of, uh, of a race, uh, I, I usually cover over a mile uh, or so. It depends on the course, you know, how far I got to get point to point. But as soon as she goes by, I'll be sprinting to the next spot. Uh, what I love about Annalise is she's brave and she'll stick her nose in it. And, and we've talked some about where we think she can place and um, I, I think, you know, she's the type of athlete that'll stick her nose in, in a place to give herself a shot to do really well this weekend. So I'm really excited for her. This is the first time we've had a sophomore qualify individually for the national championship. Yeah, we talked about that with Annalise. She did not realize that when we brought it up, that that is, that is awesome to have a sophomore in the NCAAs. And uh, I, it obviously is going to raise some hopes for the future junior and senior year yeah. to, to continue to improve and, and do even better. But this is a great opportunity for her to get a taste and, and say, hey, this is what it's like. And that any of her teammates going with on the trip to, to encourage her to, to also kind of get that feel? Well, so a lot of them want to get up and support her. And I've been talking with Mike Wagner about ways that we can make that happen. Um, but, you know, NCAA has some rules on how you can travel, you know, non-participants and stuff. So we're, you know, going to try to respect all those. But, yeah, just like you're saying, it's one thing for me to describe it and another for her to experience what the national championship is like. And so I'm really excited that she gets this chance as a sophomore. Yeah, that that is a awesome that is great and uh coach we wish you well make sure your ankles are all good in that for when you're running across the uh the field to get there and and cheer on for all of us and let her know that we're cheering for her also appreciate it thanks so much we are talking with the cross-country coach here at illinois wesleyan i'm derek bowman and this is the titan coaches show